Here we're asked to graph this linear inequality in two variables. Step number one is to graph the boundary. So it's negative 6x plus 3y equals 18. Easiest way to do that is to find the x and y intercepts. The x intercept occurs when y is 0. So when is negative 6x equal to 18? Well, that's going to occur when x is equal to negative 3. So that tells me the x intercept is negative 3 comma 0. Now the y-intercept occurs when x is 0. So in other words, when is 3y equal to 18? Well, that's going to occur when y equals 6. So the y-intercept is 0, comma 6. Two points determine a line, so now let's graph that up. OK, so here's my coordinate system. Now let's plot the x-intercept here at negative 3, comma 0 and the y-intercept here at 0, comma 6. And notice here the original inequality is a strict inequality. So I'm going to use a dotted line for the boundary, indicating that the ordered pairs on the line are not going to be part of the solution set. Step number two is to test a, an ordered pair, and it's always easiest to test the origin. So let's test 0, 0 and see if it solves the original inequality. So in other words, does negative 6 times 0 plus 3 times 0, is that greater than 18? Well, this side is just 0. Is 0 greater than 18? And the answer to that is false. OK, 0 is not greater than 18. 0 is less than 18. So that's telling me the origin is not part of the solution set. So the region in which we're going to shade all of our ordered pairs that work are here above the, the line. So go ahead and choose a value in there, say like negative 3 comma 8, and see if it really does work.